pretty dark Kundalini Citrin Quartz from the uh, deposits of the Congo. Interesting form here, so a crystal would have sat uh, uh, running into it on this side. Look at the lovely, rich, dark honey color. I'd move it closer to the camera, yet um, well, what's happening, uh, the camera doesn't want to focus. Uh, it's not a very large piece. Um, I think I'll first of all give you an idea of the form. There's minor second or third generation growth on the crystal faces, as you see there. Look at that interesting, as we get it on the reflection, we can see that. Now let's have a look at the color. There we go. Let's see if we can get a little bit deeper into the color. A rich, rich, almost a burnt, burnt honey color. I, I think in, in, I'm a little bit color challenged, but my, my closest definition of the color of these lovely, absolutely natural citrines from, uh, in this case, from the Congo, or some may, may advertise them as being from Mansa and Zambia, which closely borders the same deposit, uh, the Ilwena deposit in the Congo. Of course, the Ilwena deposit, if I'm not mistaken, also had the, the uh, uh, crazy quartzes or what, the asylum quartzes. Um, look at that now. When we look at this angle, it's almost as if there's an inclusion. I think I saw that in my, in my still picture as well. We'll have a good look. Uh, let me just zoom in again. I'm sorry about this. We're really losing focus on this one. All the way, of course, from the Congo, lovely citrine quartz, kundalini citrine quartz, not very large. This one could actually put into a pendant. It's a nice pendant size, quality pretty good. Uh, dark, dark, honey, yellow, and absolutely natural. Now, you'll see the essential difference between the baked citrines and the natural ones is the clarity of the citrine as you look into it.